Welcome in everybody to a new game we're checking out here today. This is a demo of a game that I found that might suit the channel very well here called Lightyear Frontier. This is a space slash farming slash crafting slash mech game. So uh, should be an interesting one here today. We're going to see what it's all about and uh, let's hop right into it. So you can see there's our mech there. We're going to hop into single player. I did take a uh, quick look at the game here, but uh, we're going to start a brand new one from scratch. And of course, the cosmos. Earth's no good anymore. Some, like you, have taken off for the light year frontier. You want a fresh start, a new home. Well, that's not good. Well, we've seemed to land it on our feet. <laughs> but... All right, there we are. So, uh, find your mech. That's our first mission here. Absolutely took a look at this trailer, saw it, said, hey, this looks like it'd be great for the channel, and I absolutely love the art style. Running on Unreal Engine, and man, does it look good. Doesn't always have to look realistic to be good. And, uh, yeah, we even got, like, uh, like little alien creatures here. Looks like we do have a crash site, crash site over there. Our mech conveniently uh, marked for us. That is a massive tree out there. Yeah, those things look like flying stingrays <laughs> with wings. Oh, look at that. We got a little pickaxe. Strike and grab. Pickaxe can break trees, rocks, and other material. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, relatively fast, too. And grab. Oh, yeah, look at that. Press and hold grab. Right click. Or left click to launch. Ooh. Finally, I'm getting through. That was quite the tumble you took there. Luckily, your biometrics tell me you're a okay. But before anything else, let's put that mech of yours back in one piece. Looks like there's some sort of creature over there. That's kind of cool. All right, uh, I have seen this a little bit, so we do have to just slap Man, that on there. Sucker, sunny side up, and hop in. We got a planet to explore. Man, how cool! <laughs> like a like planet terraforming max, like, ooh, checking all the boxes for me. It's pretty cool. I was noticing this right here it was actually like pinging out a uh, ring. I don't know if that's uh, some sort of uh, significance there. Looks like okay. So left click is to punch and right click is to saw. Uh, okay. What about these guys? Excuse my manners. Spike punch is good against stones and minerals. Two hundred years. Name's P I P three R. That's Piper for short. Up there in the sky, that blinking dot is yours truly. Oh, okay. 
Let's get you situated and make you at home. We need to find the irrigation hose, find the seed shooter, find the sprout cannon, and find the vacuum harvester. Wow. Already got the list of to-dos here. Oh yeah, we got a uh, we have a sprint too. I'm guessing these uh, smoke signals here. That's where our mech was. Yep, seed shooter. Ooh. Plant your first seed. Collect wood and it collect never plant fiber. To amaze. That magnificent mech. All right, we'll head Those to this one. Tools and even that ship of yours. The farm mech project really was extraordinary. Such a shame that it got canceled in the end. Store pine heights. You just say our our project got canceled? <laughs> it's news to me. That's not good. Irrigation hose. Heck yeah. Oh, so we can press this too. Oh, okay, so we do have a uh, third person view. And then we do have um, noxious slime. Irrigation hose waters plants and removes noxious slime. Oh, that's pretty cool. A little bit of cleaning to do around here. Okay, we are out of water. Let's see, do we just right click to get more? Ammo. It always tells me why Earth was so quick to give up on the farm mech project. Ocean water to sending eat. us probes out to the edge of the galaxy to scan for hospitable planets. Hmm. That was no to figure out how to fill that up. Desperate times, I suppose. jump oh yeah oh my gosh <laughs> you can double the thing too yeah it looks like we do have a little bit of a jetpack on here i was able to slow my fall a little bit apparently not enough for that jump man what a cool concept for a game absolutely love it uh this is also gonna be multiplayer we're just playing the single player demo here today Look at this guy. Oh, we can feed him. A swift bloom. What's up, man? Whoa. Uh, yeah, so this game will be multiplayer. It looks like up to four people uh, will be able to be on the planet and uh, craft in a way. Looks like we will get to some of that here. We got to find the sprout cannon still and find the vacuum harvester. Restore Pine Heights, which is just where we came from there. Collect some wood and plant fiber to plant a seed. Get the rest of these things here. Man. Vacuum Harvester. Maybe this is what we need to pick up the water. Yeah, there's water and plants. Okay. Oh, look at this. And can destroy weeds, too. So now, if we switch over to, that's our seed shooter, vacuum harvester. Oh wait, okay, we can suck these up too. Okay, polyberry seeds discovered. Okay, so we'll probably need those for our little seed shooter there. Well, abandoning the Latya frontier for Mars does make some sense. It was a lot closer and would sustain Earth's population, at least for a while. Oh, so they decided on Mars. Interesting. Okay, so we got a bunch of water now. Hopefully that comes in handy. Looks like we got one other thing over here, our sprout cannon. Do a little sprint here. Almost like a astroneer, no man's sky, checking out a planet and add in slime rancher. <laughs> That's what the vacuum reminds me of. All right, looks like we got the sprout cannon. Plants trees and large plants in the ground. Okay. Just think about the thousands.
dozens of people who initially came to the frontier, taking a chance on this one-way trip, only to get abandoned. But for generations, they've managed to thrive here. Your neighbors are quite tenacious, huh? Neighbors? I'm wondering what, what this is all about. I know you weren't sent here for a mission that's been canceled for nearly two centuries. You probably found that ship in a scrap heap somewhere and took off for greener pastures, right? No need to answer. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just happy to finally have some company. Two centuries. I mean, that planet looks pretty nice. Looks habitable. I mean, so is this one. But, uh... Kind of interesting. A little bit of a backstory there. Um, a little unsure. Two centuries it's been canceled for, but we decided to come here. All right, it says we need to build a place to sleep. As night is falling very quickly, as I was talking about. Um, does look like, yeah, it's a little, uh, same thing? Yeah, oh, he was sleeping. Okay, let's uh, suck these up real quick. We'll uh, try to harvest some trees here, collect some wood and plant fiber, and hopefully build a place to sleep. Kind of curious to see if we have any sort of a uh, weight limit. Ooh, we can cut down multiples at once. You see that going on right there? Ooh, in the yellow tree spout. We'll probably be using that with our sprout cannon. Oh, probably definitely gonna have to be thinking about replanting some of these so we don't just deforest the whole place. All right, small little tent. Oh, look at that. Put it right next to the fire. Good use of this. Like that. See what else we got in here before we make that just in case it auto sleeps us let's uh yeah we got a little storage box but we got essentials a small plot oh so this is gonna be our first little thing of and so let's do one right there maybe and a workshop shed Ooh, that's big let's try plopping that right about there yeah, let's build these. Add max. Man, I love how quick that is. Playing a lot of them. Um, other crafting games. <laughs> and uh, definitely takes a little bit to build stuff. Ah, look at that. We're just short. So let's get rid of this one. Boom. Just like that. Quick pickup. Those look like we're gonna need more. That was only two wood. Let's go over to this one. Smack down all this. Bushes come down real easy for the plant fiber. All right, that should be way more than enough. Go over here and make our little uh, workshop. And that looks cool. Wanna know what that's all about. I wonder if there's different biomes. So you can see a little bit of snow there. Definitely some areas to explore here. Probably come morning. Oh, we do have a flashlight. Look at that. Build an oil pressure inside of the oil presser inside of the shed. Interesting. Okay, so it kind of houses some tools. Looks like we're gonna need more wood. Yeah, definitely gonna have to figure out how to plant some trees. This rate. Oh, we got rain. You're well this fine morning. The decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. It's really beginning to feel like a home. Well, I'm glad. All right, let's figure out perfect time to be planting. It's raining. So that's our, our seed cannon. Let's try this real quick. This is supposed to plant a tree. 
sprouts only need to be watered once. Okay, so it is raining, but just in case. Yeah, we'll give it a little bit of water. <laughs> okay, now we got this. Oh, look at this. So it's gridded out. It looks like we can hold nine. Oh, how cool. There we go. I'd say that's watered and, it, and it's raining. So I think we're pretty good there. We have restore pine heights, craft any oil. So what's this? Oh, we got more wood on the ground. A green tree sprout. Curious to see what the grow rate is. Is this going to take multiple seasons, multiple days? We're looking at like three day kind of thing. Um, and then we do have a uh, tree planted over here, so we can check that out as well. Go see what's going on with Pine Heights before uh, we start losing too much daylight again. Look at this. We're already flying through another day. Uh, let's see how far we are here. Okay, look. So we're in Pine Heights now. You can see on the top there, we do have a compass up there. Little thing that's showing us the weather, time. All right, so we have noxious slime everywhere. Uh, maybe that's what it means by restoring. We do have like a percentage. Pick up a bunch of water. At least what I assume is water. Look at that, nice, neat, and tidy. What is this? This old thing caught your eye, huh? It's an ancient mega structure. No way to tell what it was built for. Maybe it's just a huge art installation. Either way, it's no matter now. For all intents and purposes, it's just another mountain. What a curious object. Interesting. So we have ruins here. Is this open? No. Okay. Maybe we need to find more artifacts. Still in Pine Height here. So let's uh let's keep exploring around. We'll keep a uh, keep an eye on this. Definitely has seen better days. Kind of cool if we could like fix that up. We're out of water. But there's water all around us. Water. Rat scallion nest. Oh hey look. There's our little uh little camp down there. Okay, so we'll get some more water. Suck up some water. Feel this all right in there. Ooh, water too deep. Water too deep. Some aquatic mods would be kind of cool too. Oh, that's not the way to do that, huh? We'll try to get what's close in the area here and then uh, kind of flip flop this. Let's uh, vacuum harvester. There we go. Fill that up another time and we'll head back to where we came from because we did pass a lot of the noxious slime. Yeah, it's right up over here. And I hit what we can. Only about 50%. Oh, here's some. I, I can see it off in the distance right there. So our water is just down there. Kind of clean up some of this over here best we can. It'll fill up again. Okay. 
see if we can get this one too. Kind of nice if we can get it in this one go. Yeah, there we go. Got our vacuum back on. Got a little carried away, you know. We saw this, uh, these ruins. It's kind of got away from us there. Oh, look, here. We got another artifact up here. You oh, start a little, uh, strange rocks. Artifact. What a fascinating discovery. Oh, how am I supposed to get? Oh, you know what? Perfect opportunity to get on my feet. Nice, fine. Okay, there we go. Nice attention to detail there too. No rain inside there, even though we were in a nice little covered area. Oh yeah, look at these. We got them all right here. Saw a few other entrances. Ooh, we got a little cave back there too. Uh, yep, right here. Gotta say, definitely on this uh, on this world here. Uh oh, Ah, uh, okay, so we didn't sleep. Something that'll inspire us while we do a hard day's work. Looks like it auto put us to sleep there, my bad. Uh you know, we got a little carried away. It was raining, we were just kinda Let's get this show on the road. Doing our own thing there. Alright, so it does look like we probably can climb up here. The uh scale of this building is uh pretty immense. Can really make you feel small not being in the mech. Yeah, so it looks like it auto uh, had us sleep. We didn't take any uh, any damage or anything like that, so that's good. What's this? Eggs. Oh, we're gonna take these. Hold up. We'll throw those into our mech, maybe. Yep. Resource discovered. And we got one more here. Discovery. Oh. I get too far from the mech. Didn't have this cave here. To be honest, I don't know if there's uh oh there's another artifact. Look at this red color flower. Okay, so we'll take that with us. We leave. Ah, here's our other two. I don't know if there's any hostile uh creatures. Sir, I don't see a health bar. Maybe not. That's the last piece of the puzzle. I think I figured out what this was. What was it? Leave me in suspense like that. All right, so we'll take this with us. Nice. Oh, look at that. So red color flower gets us red paint. The, uh... Oh, it says it's a dam. Open or anything? I mean, maybe there's water behind it, but... Not to my knowledge. Okay. So, uh, let's continue looking for some noxious slime. Been spending an entire day looking for, uh, all of it. An 
finish up the rest of this. Region restored. Okay, so you don't need 100%. Got to about 90. The ecosystem in this region is adjusting itself lickety split. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. I sent countless reports to Earth, telling them this was it. A new home for humanity. There just might be hope for this planet yet. Huh. That's kind of cool. A little bit of a restoration going on there. I'm guessing a lot of those uh, dead plants we were seeing are going to start to bloom. Maybe some new... Uh, seeds and opportunities we'll probably see this kind of turn around over a little bit of time but let's head back to base we're gonna check out uh see our seed progress here see what's going on and uh see if our trees grown a bit any of our crops have grown a little bit then we do have a few other items that we can make we have a uh, wash basin and a clothesline All right, look at that. Region restored Pine Heights. Oh, look, we got uh, we got some of those crystals that we uh, were looking at before. Oh, what's this? Uh, so. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Restoring that region yesterday felt right. Maybe there are some more good to be done around here. Keep a lookout, will ya? Bet you more than anything we gotta restore those six regions that's gonna open up our uh, little door there. Probably opening up maybe new ecosystems or different areas to explore. It's kinda cool, not gonna lie. Let's uh, plop these down real quick. And a little bit of water on top of it. Don't know if it's absolutely necessary since it's raining, but hey, better safe than sorry. Let's suck up these guys too. Let's see where we're gonna find this aluminum rod. 